What's up everyone, 3 Prince 747 here back again with another video. So this came uh, to me last week from Sunlu. I was an early adopter or an early purchaser. Uh, I did the pre-purchase on the day that it was released. Um, thinking that I'd use it a lot. Um, so I've preheated the temperature up. Um, you can see right now it's on PLA and it's hovering between 183 and 186. So the goal was 185 for PLA. I've got this piece of PLA or these two pieces. They are not joined together yet. So I am going to try this thing and see how it works. So you put it in here, click down and hopefully it beeps when it's finished. Let's see, yep, there we go. So that should be finished. Pop it open. And the next step is to put it in the cut sleeve, but we're gonna let it cool. So, Give it a few minutes. We will fast forward and take a look when it's done. All right, so it's cooled off. I can't imagine that this is little piece of plastic is gonna work the right way and it's kind of tough keeping it in the channel uh, let's see how do we do this I guess we do it like that there we go all right so got to click it down into the channel this is the first time I've used this so y'all are learning with me unless you've watched another one of these videos which I haven't I guess you press the top cover down firmly. The blade under the cutting slot will cut the sleeve. All right, so let's see. Did that really cut the sleeve? Let's go a little firmer. All right, firmer, more firm. Okay, well that's the, uh, we got the cut sleeve and we've got two pieces that did absolutely nothing. So let's try this again. It says you're only supposed to let it cool for five to 10 seconds. Sleeve on there, sleeve on there, it's kind of in the middle so it looks good, it's heated up, okay, so we're going to close this. And when it beeps, we are supposed to push them together a little bit. So hold both sides of the wire with both hands and push it inward slightly until the buzzer sounds to ensure, uh, so I should have been doing that before this. All right, that should be good. Oof. Okay, guess it. That looks horrible, so I probably pushed a little too hard. So, pushing firmly, the results will vary, but that is not gonna work in your printer. Let's go ahead and, it's been five seconds. They said five to 10, so we're good here. Cut this. 
see where we are. Okay, well that didn't cut it. I bet it's because it's out of shape. So it's not, well, I don't, yeah, I guess maybe there's a razor in there. Yeah, it looks like there might be a blade in there. All right, let's see if this, cut it. And you can see that it did. And if I wouldn't have pushed so hard, we'd have a really nice connection right there where they're joined. Um, but because I pushed too hard, we have this kind of little bump on both sides sticking out. I hope you can see that in the uh, video here. Does that help at all? Probably not. So, I mean, it's not going anywhere. Let's uh, do this again. We will cut here. And it came with this bag of sleeves. I'm not sure how many are in here, maybe 250, but I don't remember. I'm sure it probably said it on the order. Um, I pretty much kind of just wanted to get this just to mess with it because it seemed like a really cool idea. But at the same time, after I ordered it, I got to thinking all three of my printers have a runout sensor. So why would you need this if you've got a bamboo or a Prusa, you know, a nice printer that you spent a little money on that has a runout sensor. Um, even on my Anycubic Cobra 2 Max, the runout sensor works great. It's kind of flawed and has some issues, but it's not an issue of um, putting the filament in. It's an issue of where the filament gets loaded or gets cut and then pulled into the uh, PTFE tube after it senses the filament uh, runout. Let's try this again. And I'll push, but not too much. And that's finished. We'll let it cool for five minutes. That one actually looks pretty good if it's uh, together. It came out nice. Still a little warm. Set it down here, let it cool, and see what happens. All right, it's been five to 10 seconds, so we should be good there. Let's go ahead and insert this. Do the cutting thing this off, the sleeve comes off, looks like I can reuse that one, that's a win, and I mean look at that, that, that that's pretty perfect, that looks good, that is, ex oh, sorry, that's exactly what you want, because that's not going to cause an issue when you're feeding it through. Perfect. So, I mean, like I said, do I need this? No. Is it nice to have? Yeah, but if you can think of any reasons I would need it. Um, the only thing I can really think of is if it's around midnight and I'm ready to go to bed and a print's ready to run out, then maybe I could pause the print, take this over to the printer, connect another roll to it or another you know, a little bit of what I have left if 
um, I'm trying to use up the spools. That way it won't sit, the printer won't sit when it runs out through the night and it'll continue printing. But that's the only logical or realistic situation I can think of. If you can think of anything, um, if your printers have run out sensors, if you can think of anything or any reason why you would need this, let me know. So, yeah, I mean, I I recommend it if it's something you need. Like maybe if you have an Ender V, uh, Ender V, an Ender uh, Two Pro, Ender Pro Two, Ender Two Pro. God, it's been a while since I've had one of those printers. But um, an Ender that doesn't have a run out sensor, and um, this sleeve is actually cut. So this did a good job. Um, down below in the description, I have an affiliate link. If you want to get one of these, they are $34.99. Comes with this bag of sleeves, which, in my opinion, that's going to last a long time. Um, and it comes with the cable. It doesn't come with a dongle to plug it into USB. It just comes with this um, cable here. But, yeah, I mean, I recommend this. I don't have any issues with it at all. I'll... Definitely use it in the future, I'm sure. Um, like I said, maybe late night when I'm getting ready to go to bed and filament's getting ready to run out on a print. Maybe I'll just join, you know, another spool to the current one that's getting ready to run out and let it keep going through the night. That way I don't have to waste eight hours in the middle of the night. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please hit that like button if you haven't already. All right. 3D Print 747, I am out of here.